morning everybody um so the girls just want to have soap cutting that i wanted to do this morning it's not ready to cut so instead what i thought i would do was do a um tour of my soap studio and that way before i take down all of my fall decorations um put up christmas we can see what it looks like it took us two years but um we finally got it almost done. A few things we still want to do, but um, let me show you my soap studio. It's also our milking room. So what I'm going to do is I'll start when you come in the door, um, when the goats come in the door, to the right over here, the milking stand where the girls get milked. Then I have my chair, keep the paper towels, some cups, goat cookies, good stuff over there. And a chair that I'm still gonna have to refinish that the leather's peeling off of it, but also a chair worth refinishing and that is a project for the winter time where I can be outside and not want to keel over because it's so hot. Um, we put down the vinyl plank flooring in here, painted the floor, um, and then put that down to help with there was a um, musty smell in here. I think it had been left empty for many years before we moved in. Then we um, had to fix this wall here. It was leaking. Had to, and replaced all of the um, insulation that was in that wall. We painted and fixed the drywall and all of that. And over on the left, um, I repurposed an old entertainment center. We painted it, painted it black to use as storage for all of my stuff. Um, these are the feed bins where we keep the alfalfa pellets, the goat food, kelp, stuff like that. Um, and that's actually a display stand for the um, shows we do, but right now it serves its purpose in here. And then we have our air purifier, speaker, um, lemon and soap, and then this is also a shelf that I repurposed, um, picked up out of a garage, um, and repainted it, cut it down, and we're using it in here for all of my herbs that we use a lot for the goats. Um, also some things that I use a lot in soap as well. That's not all that I use. I have a lot more jars in my laundry room, which also has all my essential oils and herbs for the family use and everything. Those are just ones that I use a lot for the goats and so um, it's a table that my husband and I built at a height so it would be right at my waist for pouring so I didn't have to bend over. Also they use it for playing um, miniature games and games and stuff and it's just an awesome table. I'm really proud of that one. Built this table too, my desk, where I do crafts. Here. So I have all my craft stuff stored in here that um, is a vintage cabinet that we found that I use for all my oils and everything. And then we brought a refrigerator in here so that when I milk, we take the milk straight from the goat, filter it, and it goes into an ice bath and right into that refrigerator so it starts to cool down extremely quickly, which is to do to make sure bacteria doesn't start growing in there. And the stainless steel table is what I use for um, actually making the soap. And then I pour it over on the, on the big table and I cut it over there too. Keep my oils, I pre-measure all of the hard oils, melt those down and add the soft oils, which are the oils that don't have to be melted. They're um, liquid at room temperature. Is where I um, have my currently have my um, seedling starters, but I'm um, gonna have to find a new home for that because it's way too cold out here. Without any kind of, we have an air conditioner. We have it set on dry, so it'll still run in here to keep the humidity level down, but it is freezing. And there's the girls just want to have fun soap. Not ready to cut yet. Not wanting to come out of the mold. I guess it's really, really, really cold, and I made it just last night. 
night, so it really hasn't been 24 hours yet. So usually it's between 24 and 48 hours before I can get it out of the bowl, but I was kind of anxious. I want to see what it looks like on the inside. Um, there's a curing rack. I leave the soaps out here for a couple weeks, some of them. Um, actually a couple weeks and then we take them and they finish curing in the house. But that's just a, a few that we've made in the last few days. And that's about it. Keep, like I said, keep the feet in there and make the soap over here. And this is my Buffalo Check Cottage. And I'll bring you back, I think, when um, I've decorated for Christmas or when the um, girls just want to have fun soap is ready for cutting. But that's it. This is our soap studio. Hope you liked it.